chipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces, you know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So this bedroom used to be my son's room, but I had to move him down to the basement with my other son while I had a guest staying with us. So now that they're gone, I went ahead and I gave this bedroom a fresh coat of white paint. And then I had moved my daughter's bed and her dresser in this room to make this her room. And here is my uh, daughter's old room that I'm gonna bring my boys up into this room so that we can make the basement a hangout space um just for them to hang out in or if they ever have friends over to have their own kind of space because we do have a small town home and we don't really have that for them and and i want to do that so that they can feel more comfortable inviting friends over um to hang out so I just want to take a minute to say hi, I'm Gina, I make a ton of cleaning and organizing videos along with room makeovers. So if you like that kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you. So here I'm just moving all my daughter's stuff from her old room to her new room before I head into my room to tackle that disaster. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to say hi in the comments, I'd love to chat. So this big Elsa picture used to be in my daughter's closet and now I decided just to leave it up here so she can actually see it and enjoy it. So once I finish up with her bed, I stop for the day. I was just pooped because it was a lot of work to take her bed apart and uh, you know, it wouldn't fit through the doorway. So we had to take it apart and then put it back together in here and then to bring all her stuff in here and organize it, it took all day and all of my energy. So me tackling my room is day two. So as you can see from that clip, I have been neglecting my room and it's time to get this done, organized, cleaned up. Baby, I can tell it's just for sure. So I'm starting off by changing out my sheets and getting my bed all fixed and tidy before moving on to, to fold my clothes because all the clothes there that you see on the floor are clean. I have a really bad habit with just dumping my clothes there to use the basket for another little laundry and then it'll go days without getting folded. So I'm gonna tackle my bed and then get to the clothes. Okay, so question for all of you out there. When you're making the bed, do you tuck in the bottom of your sheet? Do you tuck it underneath your mattress? Because I like to tuck it under, but then at night we kick the sheets out from underneath because we like our feet to kind of like stick out of the blankets. So now when I make the bed, I there's like no point to do that. So I'm just wondering 
is there anyone else who does this and <laughs> i know it might look a little sloppy but once the comforter is over top you can't really tell anyways um but yeah let me know down in the comments if there's anyone else that just leaves their sheet hanging loose so that they can i don't know take their feet out at night when they sleep So here I'm putting the duvet cover back onto my duvet. Um, is there any tips or tricks that you guys know of how to put this on easier, quicker, I don't know, to make my life a little better because I always struggle to put the comforter back into the cover. It's, it's so difficult. I do like to wash it at least once a month and I dread putting it back on there, so does anybody have any tips or tricks for me? Folding did take a while, so I didn't film all of it. I didn't want to bore you guys with me folding my never-ending pile of clothes over there. But I do show you just folding a few things and then putting everything away. Okay, I just wanted to show you... Here's all the clothes that were on the floor. I cleaned up that mess there. I'm gonna fold this load now. That's clean as well. So and now I'm just gonna put this away before getting to the other load of clothes that I have to fold. So here I'm going to rat out my husband. I know he's going to watch this and be like, what the heck? But he always leaves clothes up here. Like if he wore something for like an hour, if he ran to the store or whatever, he'll leave his clothes up on the dresser so that he can wear it the next day. So he means well, but then he forgets about it and he never wears it again. So then clothes keep, his dirty clothes keep piling up there. And yeah, that whole pile was his clothes that he was supposed to wear another day. I'm just going over with a duster Swiffer cloth because there's a lot of hair and dust up here. And if you just spray a multi-purpose cleaner and then wipe it down, it's kind of like mopping without sweeping first. You're gonna get all that yuckiness um, and spread it all over the place. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? So if something is really dusty or know that the cat's been there and there's a lot of hair, I like to dust it first with a dry cloth and then I'll go over and wipe it down. I just want to explain that mirror I have sitting in the corner there. Um, I ordered a console table from Wayfair a few weeks ago 
probably almost a month ago because it's almost two weeks late tomorrow so it hasn't come yet and i'm planning to hang this over top of that console table when it finally gets here i got blood on my hands right now and i'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn i have found new ways but no i can't be the one that you need Just ending off in my bedroom with a quick vacuum before heading into my bathroom to tidy up and clean in there. So a couple of months ago, I DIY'd and remodeled my bathroom here. So if you want to see the transformation from what it was to this, then I'm going to try to remember to link that video down below. You can watch that once you're done this. So here I'm just filling up a bucket of hot soapy water. It's just Dawn dish soap. Honestly, I use this stuff for a lot of places. Um, my bathtub, the sinks, countertops sometimes. It's actually really good on granite. So I'm just using a scrubby brush that I had bought from my local dollar store to help scrub out all the stuck on toothpaste or whatever gunk is in there. And then I saw that the countertop also had some toothpaste and stuck on stuff. So I just gave that a really good wipe down with this solution and the brush as well. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh baby, yeah. I don't know. There was a part of me that knew that. Still on caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine Oh yeah I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time so now that i am almost done the bathroom that is a wrap for today's video i hope this gave you a ton of cleaning motivation to just get up and get started even if it's not a whole day of cleaning just one area in your room you will feel so good afterwards don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up say hi to the comments and don't forget to subscribe until next time guys bye